The state of the art in augmented reality glasses with respect to eye tracking is still way behind where we'd like it to be in order to enable wide scale adoption. And Xiaoyu, with Ganzen technology, you've created a totally new way to enable eye tracking to be both affordable, accessible for manufacturers, and also something that practically works. What's been the differentiator for your technology? Actually, uh, existing eye tracking technology, they usually put a lot of LED in front of your eye. It's a work like the anchors. So they use those anchors to derive the, the 3D gaze direction. Our approach is totally different. We only use one sensor to capture your eye image, and we use our AI technology to analyze the eye image to derive the, the, the 3D gaze vector. So in this way, it makes eye tracking very simple. You just need to only put, put one sensor. And we also have one LED. The LED is only for illumination. Yeah, so the location is not so critical. So it makes it very easy to integrate to any kind of devices and uh, makes the, the cost or the power consumption much lower than existing solutions. From what I've seen so far, the existing state of the art is so complicated for the big hardware manufacturers to roll out and so costly that it's been impossible to have something that's available for wide scale adoption at a reasonable price. Along the way, you've made some incredible breakthroughs to simplify what's needed in order to have effective working eye tracking at a very reasonable cost. What were some of the key elements of the breakthroughs? We start to collect the meaning data. So we actually created a large scale eye database in our companies. So we invite many subjects to come to our lab and we have a special equipment to capture their eye images. Uh, and start building the data set yeah. for the AI to use. Right. And until now, we, we have confidence that our performance is actually at the same level with their other, other existing solutions, the same level of performance, but with much lower cost and much simpler mechanical design. What was the key breakthrough with respect to the artificial intelligence algorithms that are enabling you to use such limited sensor data and still provide amazing eye tracking? M many different aspects. I think the challenge comes from first, you need to prepare such a data set. And the other thing is that you cannot use a too complex model uh, because uh, we need to integrate eye tracking into uh, mobile platforms. So you cannot use a giant model to do this. What are you personally most excited about in the metaverse? I think for the era, the most exciting one is that you can interact with not only the digital world, but also the physical world. The, the hybrid environment. Yeah, because I think the AR, you just put the metaverse into your real world. Uh, I think that in the near future, your, your smart glasses can reply to your question according to your attention. So we Yeah, call, the entire you know, mixed reality opportunity is vast. Yes. We call this a brand new experience attention-based service. Uh, your smart devices cannot interact with you according to the location, but also your attention. You came a very long way to participate in the KPMG Global Tech Innovator Competition. <laughs> right. What was it about the KPMG Global Tech Innovator Competition that made you want to come all this distance to participate? I think the most important one is, is a global competition. And actually we joined the many pitch in our nation in Taiwan, but we haven't joined the, this uh, uh, a global pitch. And then all the best come to get together to join a, a global uh, competition. So actually we feel exciting to join this competition to find who is the best of the best.